Hello, my name is Nikolai Nikolaev. I'm a senior staff engineer with Juniper Networks. Currently, my focus is to the application of the cloud native technologies within the Telco domain. And today I'm going to talk to you about the open run and how it adopts Kubernetes. Start. The modernization of the way we do networking started about 15 years ago with the introduction of the software defined networking. And uh, when this trend was combined with the concept of virtualization of the hardware resources, uh, the networking function virtualization was born, the NFV. It allowed for running specialized networking workloads on top of the commodity hardware, like CPUs, memory, and network interface cards. The rise and proliferation of cloud native technologies in principles created a new wave of networking virtualization. The cloudification of the networking domain allowed for building and running scalable applications and creating closely coupled systems that are resilient, manageable, and observable. This is a direct quote from the CNCF's cloud native definition. But my favorite part of this quote is make high impact changes frequently and predictably with minimal toil. This is a huge game changer for the networking world where typically a new software rollout can take months. While all of this was happening, the telecom industry kept running through the newer and newer generations of their networking architectures, 3G, 4G. But when 5G was introduced, it proposed various new use cases such as self-driving cars and e-health, this puts huge demand on the flexibility of the underlying infrastructure, where virtualizing networking functions was a natural fit. But adding the cloud native principles in the mix makes it even more appealing to the telcos to adopt. Let's zoom a bit. A telco network is typically split into the core network, radio access network, or RAN, and uh, the backhaul, uh, which we call the infrastructure that connects the core and the RAN. While the core network was a relatively natural fit for the NFV codification, the radio access network was typically more rigid and hard to revolutionize. Yet people started looking in, at it and in an attempt to align its implementation with the NFV codification trends. So that's how in 2018, the Open RAN Alliance was born. It defined a standardized logical architecture of the radio access network and the interfaces between its components. It also defines various splits or functionality distributions across physical and cloud instances. To facilitate this design, the Open Run Alliance defines 10 work groups. Uh, what is most important here is work group six, which is the codification and orchestration. And it's this work group seeks to drive the decoupling of run software from the underlying hardware platforms and to produce technology and reference designs that would allow commodity hardware platforms to be leveraged for all parts of uh, the radio access network deployment. Sounds familiar, right? The platform that hosts the software and hardware to implement the open run architecture is called O Cloud. It comprises of CPUs, memory, storage, hardware accelerators such like FPGAs and DPUs, and the relevant networking infrastructure. The specification does not mandate how the workloads that leverage these resources are orchestrated. One can run bare metal workloads or virtualized VNFs, and of course, containerized CNFs. However, the adoption of the cloud native principles is very appealing to the DevOps teams in the telco industry too. The flexibility that this approach brings allows for a tremendous change in the way the infrastructure is managed and operated. A single all cloud can host several on-premise Kubernetes clusters can also have public cloud managed and managed Kubernetes clusters as well as other types of workloads. This puts interesting challenges to implement where Kubernetes orchestrated workloads need to be able to communicate with remote Kubernetes clusters, bare metals and virtualized workloads. One can imagine that such scenarios go well beyond the traditional CNI networking, for example, and include technologies like, you know, Motus, SRLV and high performance DPDK communications. A subgroup in the workgroup sees is looking into the management interface with Kubernetes as a platform to host the CNF workloads. Its job is to define part of the so-called O2 interface, which will uh, allow for seamless integration of service management and orchestration platform, the SMO, and the multitude of Kubernetes cluster hosted uh, in the O clouds that this SMO manages. There are certain challenges that are still to be resolved, uh, such as the aforementioned networking challenges, uh, accessing the accelerators that we talked about, but also simple things such as how do we manage namespaces? How do we handle RBAC? Maybe even volume mounts, for example. In the conclusion, I'd like to highlight that OpenRun is a prominent platform for the future of modern telecommunications, but also it's an interesting use case for the cloud native technologies that it adopts. The development of the technology evolution that is to be made within this seemingly niche work uh, will have a serious impact on the rest of the cloud native community. So 
If you want to know more, visit the link that is on the slide here. Thank you.